Now we're joined by Lynn Crilly and her daughter Samantha, who are launching the Trouble Muncher toy ahead of Mental Health Awareness Week. Samantha has developed a teddy bear and app to support young people going through mental health issues. They're going to be giving away 10 bears to the first 10 children or parents who contact them. And we're delighted to say they're both here with us now. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. So come on, tell us about the Trouble Muncher toy. So uh, the idea came about about a good couple of years ago now. And something I've always struggled with is mental health, like a lot of people. And uh, one thing I always did, I was very lucky to be able to do, was, was message mum. Um, they would be long thoughts, but a lot of them were kind of short Short thoughts. I mean, I, I look back and I feel a bit sorry for you. <laughs> but I bombarded you with all these kind <laughs> what of... What a month's for. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, used to I look back and I'm like, my God. And they were just <laughs> short negative thoughts. They were just things that came into my head and I would just send them to mum and it felt quite th therapeutic. It was sort of a problem halved. A problem shared is, is a problem halved. And... Um, yeah. Yeah, for you. For me. <laughs> yeah, mum was sort of at home. Um, and I thought, I, what happens if people don't have... I'm not very close to my mum. What happens if people aren't very close to, to someone that they love or they trust? And um, that's where I thought about the app. If you could put your thoughts into an app, and then that would kind of... The, it's the same kind of toy that's in the app. And um, that toy would... That, that kind of character would, would munch up your thoughts. And uh, we did kind of loads of... Loads of um, captions when it would be eating your thoughts. It's mainly for younger people that have technology. So I could, um, it, it's getting rid yes. of the negativity yeah. in your brain. Yeah. Just getting off your chest. Yes. So where were your negative thoughts coming from? You talk about your mental health. What yeah. was it? In what ways? What avenues were you going down? I mean, uh, so I suffered from OCD and anorexia. Um, and... Oh, God, there was loads of them. Um, but they would be maybe if I was out or if I was laying in my bed or they would be just ones where some, maybe I'd had a thought come into my head, an intrusive thought, and I was struggling with it. I would just say it to you. I'd be like, this has come into my head. And you'd say, maybe you'd reason it with me a little bit. And then you would just say, well, you've said it now and it's, it's gone. Thought, so disassociation. you had thoughts and maybe if I've got a, a bad thought, maybe I'll share them with Phil, <laughs> maybe it would be my mum yeah. my dad or whatever it was. But with you then, it was deeper than that. So it was moving into mental health and it yes. was then for you triggering not eating then. Is that what it was? What were those thoughts? Were they bad about you? Was it, I'm not good enough? Were they confidence thought, I'm too fat? What were your thoughts? I, I mean, there many thoughts. Uh, everything really, weren't they? they were a mum, do you remember everything. the thoughts? Oh, they, I they've do. gone from my head, they're in I you now. I certainly do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that it was obviously Sam's 32 now and it all started mm. when she was 13 and we're talking sort of nearly 20 years ago. Mental health wasn't talked about as much and at the beginning, you, you just never think it's going to be your child. Mm. Um, you know... I don't know, it was you, I think you were the only person in the school, though now we know that she wasn't, mm. um, that had mental ill health. But the thoughts at the beginning were really distorted and I, and I was thinking, oh my God, you know, where's all this coming from? But then afterwards I realised that once she was telling me, she actually felt better. Yeah. Did you, feel, did you realise that at the time? Did no. you realise at the time that that was actually helping or were you feeling quite helpless at the time? I was feeling, no, really helpless. And yeah. as a family we felt really helpless, which is sort of what has led us into doing all the stuff within the mental health world and that it, we and, do and now. And those, those cuddly toys, yes. as it were, your little Here munchers. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So got the fantastic, let's say, so what actually would a child do with that? Is it put the words in the rucksack on the back? Yeah. What is it you do? They've got a pad in yeah. the back that says, share your troubles. Yeah. So it just encourages children to express their feelings and to communicate, mm. because we're in this really techn technology-driven world yeah. where a lot of them now are becoming quite introvert yeah. in themselves and, and talking to actual people, they, they don't find easy. Yeah, but, but what they don't kind of know is that they'll put the thought in there, then when they leave for school, the thought will be in there for their parents to come and look at. Obviously, I mean, the parent, they don't know that their parents will come and pick it out, but their parents can have a look at what they're worrying about, kind of an indirect way if their kid isn't talking about it. Yeah. Maybe they can so approach it. So are we talking it. there? And I totally agree with you, and I've said this for you, the communication yes. is yeah. breaking down. Yes. Yes. People might be on yeah. Twitter and they might do 140 yeah. digits. Yeah. Yeah. But I say a lot of people's <laughs> anger and upset and lack of confidence is because they can't actually speak through an issue. Yeah. 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 yeah they, can't, they can't talk through it and... I think these are sort of aimed at um, sort of... Oh, younger. Sort of three to five, three upwards. I mean, I've 
they are in some schools now. Was it a big thing for you to ring up your mum and tell her the, because I, uh, tell her what was what your thoughts were and everything? Because I, I mean, I totally get this that you want to write it down because it's not just a question of you might not a question of not having somebody or or not being able to express it, but. Mm. There must be a bit of, you know, sort of, we might be embarrassed about wanting to. I, I'm not sure I'd want to tell my oh, parents. Yeah. And, and, uh, at but all would you want me, them reading a note you'd done? No, but I can see that that in itself, Starts writing it down is actually getting it out of mm. my system. But did, did was it a big thing for you to actually tell your mum as well? Um, well? We're quite close, aren't we? We're probably, probably abnormally close. <laughs> <laughs> so not really. You didn't need a monitor. <laughs> your mum was your monitor. It's a little bit weird. But lots of people yeah. aren't that close. Yeah. yeah, so for me, it wasn't. But and when your twin sister, she does have a twin sister. Yeah, I have sister. a lovely twin sister. And, and but you Charlotte never went to your twin sister. sister. You did. I did sometimes, yeah. yeah. Now the, the, the barrier's broken a lot more and she's amazing. But before it was, bless you, was just you. Yeah, um, in the early days. Well, yeah. Well, what you're brought and what you've produced obviously is fantastic and that is starting that communication yeah. to get rid of those bad thoughts and not go and have mental health or anorexic yeah. uh, conditions. I want to thank you both very much indeed. I, I might have one of these. I might this have be, one of one. If I fall out with Phil this yeah. could be my <laughs> way of communicating <laughs> yeah. with him. That paddle be used up in share, your time. Share you. your trouble. <laughs> I'll yes. tell you what it is. You need to take me out. Oh, you have to yeah. take me out for dinner. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Thank, thank you. Thank for what you. you're doing, it's really fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having us on. Thank you.